upande wake mmiliki kiwanda cha kuzalisha saruji cha Dangote Alhaji Ali Dangote amesema ameshangazwa na baadhi ya taarifa kutoka vyombo vya habari hapa nchini kuwa anataka kufunga kiwanda chake kitu ambacho amesema hakuna ukweli wote uh, we very committed to investing in uh, you know Tanzania and will continue to invest uh, you know here in Tanzania and also to prove a point where you know because there are a lot of media discussion here our own people some of these issues were not actually handled uh, properly without even going into details um, well all this while all these things were going on if you look at it today you as the media you can actually go to the port as we speak today we have imported 600 brand new trucks you know to invest more money into Tanzania and these 600 trucks between mechanics engineers drivers motorboys we are talking about creation of another 1500 jobs uh, if it is true, we are very, very unhappy. There is a fight because even myself, I'm not happy because I've read in so many media stories. If we are very upset investors and we are not happy, there's no way in the midst of all this crisis we'll go ahead and ship 600 trucks. And please, before you report even my interview, I would like you to go to the port and see that is it true that we have these trucks? These trucks, they have started. The first batch has arrived. Everything will come before Christmas, 600 trucks. So we are quite pleased and really the meeting that I've uh, had with Mr. President, he has assured us that, look, this is your home. This is why you need to come and do business. And I've assured Mr. President that, look, we are partners in progress. Our job here in Tanzania is to come and create jobs for Tanzanians. And that's why I also disagree with Dangote importing, whether it is Kalinka, whether it is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, coal, whether it is gypsum, we will use whatever you have locally. And uh, we've been assured of getting the amount of coal and uh, gypsum that we need. And uh, not only that, we'll buy locally, we'll also try and assist those local industries. Uh, we want to be understood our job is going into African countries to invest more money, not to come and siphon money out. And we will not import things that you are self-sufficient in because importing goods that you have here is like actually bringing poverty here and exporting jobs out and will not be part of it. So I thank you very much and I thank Mr. President really for his uh, leadership. Uh, we have had a lot of issues and I think this is the right place for us to come, mend fences and continue to invest not only in cement. And I've given Mr. President my own commitment that we'll continue to invest in Tanzania. The $600 million we first invested in cement is the start and we'll continue to look at other areas like agriculture and coal. We will continue to invest here. Thank you very much.